Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Call of Wild the Angler, we're making an African tiger fish fishing guide. That's right. I can't wait to show you this. I've been fishing for these for the last few days. These are the most wanted species I wanted to fish for, and I know they're going to be very popular amongst the community. They're absolutely brilliant fun. And um, let's get on to showing you how to catch them, where to catch them, what to use. Now I've got early access to South Africa for Colorado the Angler and this comes out for everyone on PC and consoles on March the 26th. So it's only a couple of days now so I thought I'd get this guide ready for you so you, you can get out there, go fish for these beautiful African tiger fish. And they're a lot of fun, let me tell you. So this is where you start out, this is home yeah? And you want to know where to come. Well this big pond right up the top there's a bridge where I'm standing now, it's called Banana Bridge, and it's a hot spot for tiger fish. Basically, you can unlock this fast travel point right in the middle, and all you do is walk straight forward from where you spawn, and there's a little sort of a dark patch, which I'll show you, and you want to be casting off the bridge with a minnow. We'll go over tackle setup in a minute, and minnow absolutely drives a tiger fish crazy. I've been fishing with lures for them. You can fish with lures for them and you can fish for your baits for them. But minnow, for me, is the king bait for them. Now, there's a few good spots in this area. This is where you want to be casting, where those little dark patches are off the bridge. And this is where you get the boat from. Now, if you get the boat, you want to go all the way over to where I've marked, yeah? Um, where that marker is and you want to fish in that dark patch. So basically, take the boat go over would you say drive sail <laughs> yeah park your boat right where mine is and the reason i've got a marker there is you want to cast from where the boat is to where the marker is right in the middle of that dark spot and that is a hot spot honestly i've been getting gold after gold after gold tiger fish there it's absolutely amazing and no doubt this will be like if you want diamonds off the bridge where i marked and in this big deep hole at this lake is going to be a mecca for African tiger fish. You watch and uh, I'll show you some of that in a minute. But uh, yeah, this lake is absolutely full of African tiger fish. And those two spots especially are really good. But the deep hole where my boat is seems to be a little bit better. The bridge can die off after you catch a few. I was catching golds all day yesterday. Uh, Non-stop after each other. Then today it's been a bit dead. But this big deep hole... It seems to be the better spot of the two. So that's the time. When you start a new game or come back in after just launching, it'll be 12, right? Midday. So come here at 12 midday. And I find that a sort of key time seems to be about 3 to 4 o'clock when they really switch on. We'll go over setups now. Now this is what I've been using for lures. Basically, the rod and reel isn't doesn't really matter too much. They're not the biggest fish, right? So it depends on if you want to play them or just haul them in. I'm using 22 pound line on the lure rod and I've got a small spinner on for a start. Now, I started off with size four. When, what you want to do when you're fishing for species you don't know about is you start on a small hook and then basically you just decrease it each time. So if you're on a four, then go down to a three, once you know that works, then go down to a two and so on. Just keep doing that. But three is where i'd start for hooks on these african tiger fish you'll get bronze and silvers on those you will get some golds but you'll mainly get bronze and silvers you'll get a lot of bites um but i found that lure fishing versus uh the minnows the minnows just destroy it uh that's what i found up to yet you can catch them on both and different lures will work but this setup with the minnows absolutely nothing touches it from what i've tried up to yet for the african uh, tiger fish and that's the line I'm using the float don't really matter which whichever float you want to use I'm using the waggler um, and the line it just depends on how you want them to fight you want a really big fight that gives you a good fight and I know now what pulls there's the hook so we'll start with size three with a minnow and basically we'll get lots of bites of this and then once I know they're biting I'll swap onto a bigger hook so then we'll go down to a two Two seems like the nice sweet spot, I think, from you get a lot of you get silvers, but you mainly get golds on a two at the spot, and obviously you can get diamonds as well. So one's probably diamond only, uh, but twos get you a lot of gold. So it's a, if you want action, 
all the time and decent fish number two is sweet but start from a free hook then go down from two and then if you want to just try and fish for a diamond only go for a one i'm fishing at 2.6 feet deep it's up to you it doesn't really matter too much what i will tell you is keep checking like where the deep spot is you can just put the marker on if you want so you know like where the sort of slightly deeper bit is and just cast right regular don't leave it in for 20 minutes 30 minutes what seems to work with these what i found is cast it in leave it for a minute or so if you don't get a bite move it slightly to the right slightly to the left and just cover areas there is an actual technique used in uh, lure fishing called the fan technique and you start from one side and basically you just move degrees round in a circle like a fan and uh, you cover all the area but yeah cast regular and just leave it for one or two minutes if you don't get a bite cast again so here's the preferences as you can see for lures um frogs spoons spinner but minnows like i say nothing seems to touch these uh for how many you get and as you can see we're already in <laughs> i found out on this setup that if I put it to 35 and it starts pulling, it's a gold, basically. If the, if the, if the clutch, the drag starts going, it's a gold. So uh, that's what I found out up to yet. And uh, you can tell straight away. But it, it normally takes it to up to about three quarters with a gold on my setup. So a diamond's going to be close. And uh, like I say, just plug away, keep doing this, and you'll have lots of fun. But yeah, the bridge started out really amazing for me, right? But it has died off slightly in the last few days. So I don't know if that's down to fishing pressure. And uh, so I've moved to the deeper hole and then I'll come back here, try this out. But uh, it is one of the best spots for African tiger fish when you get here. And uh, I think you'll be having a lot of fun. Overall, the reserve map is a lot of, there's a lot of diversity, a lot of different biomes, a lot of different fishing techniques. You can use lures, you can use float fishing, you can use bottom fishing. It's really up to you uh, how you want to fish and what you want to fish for. And explore i'm having a lot of fun myself i did see a lot of people saying is it mainly lure fishing at south africa or colorado angle or is it float fishing dominated and it's just a mixture of what you want to fish for really there's no sort of one fishing technique that works the best uh it's just for african tiger fish at the moment lure fishing uh for me doesn't seem as good as minnow fishing with a float and by good, I mean effective. The most effective method I've found up to yet is float fishing with a minnow for them. As you can see, they're absolutely stunning. The devs have nailed these. I don't know if you've ever seen these in real life or on YouTube or on some TV series, but they look exactly like this. They've got the gnashes right as well. Imagine those teeth trying to disgorge that hook. I wouldn't be getting my hands near those choppers because they have got very big, sharp teeth on a lot of them. So that would make a mess of your hand. So I wouldn't be putting my hand too close to those gnashes. But yeah, they're a lot of fun. And this is one of the most wanted species I wanted to fish for and uh, most excited about in South Africa. Also, yesterday was going for mottled eels, African mottled eels. They was one of them I wanted to catch. I did a really long video yesterday, detailed first look. Check that out if you've already seen it for South Africa. We had a lot of fun, caught a lot of species and also African shot to catfish we finally got one of those but it was well we'll let, we'll let you watch it but yeah there, there was tough to get and uh but in the end we plugged through and uh, we found where they were right this is a location where you come to get your boat to go over to the african tiger fish honey pot shall we call it the deep hole uh, where they all seem to reside i don't know if it's just because it's the deeper water but there seems to be a lot of them so you you can basically spawn on that bridge, you walk down the bridge, go left, get in your boat and just drive your boat over to right on the edge of where the deep water starts. That's why I've got a marker there. Then when I get to that marker, I'll park my boat there, then move the marker right in the middle of the deep hole. So that way I know where to cast. And you just keep casting it there and as you'll see, it's gold tiger fish heaven. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of diamonds come from here and just know it as well. Also, if you didn't know this already, right now, you can get Call of the Wild, the angler, the base game, free at Epic's Game Store. All you need to do is go to Epic's Game Store, log in, 
and claim the game and you'll get the base game for free how good is that so if you're on the fence and you've just seen this video or something and you're thinking that looks like a cool game i won't mind trying it out go get it from epic's game store it's on till the 28th of march that's when you can claim it till your free copy so go do that um try it out and come have fun with the community and if you want to join the community Come join the Call of Duty the Angler official Discord. A lot of us are there having fun. You find out tips, where to find certain fish. It's a great place to be. Like I said, join Call of Duty the Angler official Discord. Right, so we're at the location. All we're going to do now is cast straight out into the deep hole, as I was saying. You can move your marker now right into the middle. So that way you ain't got to keep checking your map to make sure you're casting in the right direction. But once you get used to it, sometimes you can use a landmark if there's something there in the background, like a tree or something, and work out where to cast from there. So, but just cast straight out, and it doesn't take long. Like I said, what I find is a bit in the afternoon, uh, three to four, they definitely switch on a lot. And once you get them going, they they're just non-stop. They they go like every minute or so. Once you get one in, you're getting another gold or something. You can start on a three hook if you want. Just to see if they're biting in the area. Because once you know you're getting fish, like we are now, then you know that the others are probably there. So you can switch up to a size 2 hook and start getting golds and above. And that's what I'd recommend to you. Start with a 3, maybe. It's up to you, really. But I'd start with a 3. Know the fish are biting there. And then just swap to a 2. And then start getting the bigger fish. But you'll see, once I get to about 35, once the drag starts going, I know it's a gold. And uh, there's a silver for a start. Also on release date of the 26th of March, we're getting a free update, 1.6.0. I went over all that in the last video. Check that out if you've not already seen it, like I was saying. And uh, there's lots of great things in there, like vehicle storage. So now with vehicle storage, your vehicles now act as a portable storage unit. So you avoid trips back and forth from the shop and swap out your gear on the go from your 4x4. How good is that? That's going to save you a lot of time. You can also fast travel to your vehicles. So now you can fast travel to any of your small vehicles within a reserve whenever you choose. Getting around has never been easier. And it will save a lot of time and it makes the gameplay more fun because you ain't got to do things you don't want to do. And you can just concentrate on fishing like we're on now. Just these little tweaks. Each time there's an update, just keep doing these to the game and it'll just get better and better Call of Duty Angler. And we're progressing fastly, and a lot of the things we actually want will come. As you can see, we're on a three hook, so we're getting bronzers, we're getting silvers. So, ideally, what you want to do, like we're going to do now, is just swap over to a two, because we know the African tiger fish are biting, and back onto the minnow with a two hook, and we'll see the differences. Now, it's a bit later in the afternoon, as I said. Oh, I've just spotted a nice one swimming around near my boat. I'm just going to pull the float in. Hopefully, it takes a bait. There we go. But yeah, this looks like a nice one. The drag's going, so I know it's a good one. This is going to be a gold at least. If you want to catch up on the latest, greatest things for Colorado the Angler, Jackson Bear does live streams on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. CT or 12 p.m. EST for the Tackle Box live streams. And uh, he'll probably be taking you on a trip to South Africa in the next one. So. If you watch those each week, you will find out about the latest, greatest, new things. Jackie likes to tease as well, so a lot of new TV watchers. So give it a watch. Stay up to date and see what's happening in Call of Duty Angler. So there we go. Nice, massive gold. I love the red tail. The chompers, like I say, I'd love to fish for these in real life. I like fishing for pike in real life, predator fish, with lures, and I'd love to lure fish for these, uh, fish for them in general. It would be cool. I, have, I was saying this in the last video, um, I've actually got relatives in South Africa. I don't really know them, but it'd be nice to like knock on doors and say, oh, Ron's here with Rod. <laughs> Come for a bit of lure fishing for your, for your African tiger fish. <laughs> Is it all right if I stop for a bit? <laughs> but look at them chompers. You wouldn't want to get in your hand in there, would you? What was cool yesterday in yesterday's video in the comments was there was quite a few South African people saying like I fish for those in real life those fish and I've caught those fish which was super cool to see and I love that if you're from South Africa and you've seen these videos let me know what you think about the fish because obviously you fish for them in real life are they realistic do they look like this like I say I, I commented to a few people yesterday about it 
and I was really astounded at, like I say, the positive feedback from people from South Africa saying, yeah, that's that. I fished for those fish. It's great to see those in the game. Can't wait to get the reserve. And uh, I hope you have a lot of fun. Like I say, March 26th. It's only a few days now till it releases. It releases on PC and console at the same time, March 26th. So what we've got now, this feels an even better fish. If you want to see any content for Call of Duty Angler or any content I cover on my channel, let me know in the comments. Your comments really make a big difference to what I actually make. I'll read down them each day. I respond to everyone I can. And um, basically, I'll see what people are feeling like, what they want to see. And then I go out and make a video on it. So let me know about any content you want to be made basically whether it's for Call of the Angler uh, whether it's for any of the other games like I say let me know in the comments but if you want to see any guides for Call of the Angler let me know in the comments as well I've already done quite a few check them out I've already seen them and uh, there'll be lots more made for South Africa so that is a beautiful African tiger fish and it's the biggest one I've caught up to yet at this location so I'm gonna keep plugging away try and get me a diamond African tiger fish. I hope you enjoyed this guide. This will get you straight into the African tiger fish as soon as you get to South Africa. So I'm Ron McChew. We'll be making an African tiger fish guide for South Africa for Colorado the Angler. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.